school was over. And thank goodness, senioritis is getting the better of me. But it is Friday, so I could go home for the weekend. But someone had other plans. Hey, T, I did need to talk to you a little bit today. All right, come on in. Well, hey, Tate, I just wanted to invite you in because I'm very concerned about uh, the Aquinas scholarships that are due on April 19th, and that's not that far off. How are you doing on those scholarships? Well, I've been working on that. I do have, I guess I need to know a little more. All right. All right, well, Tate, you do realize that these are the Aquinas general scholarships where there's many, many opportunities for you to earn some money. Because I did get a few of your scholarships that you had from the family scholarships, including the uh, scholarships. And things I just and kind of want you to including the Eller Scholarship and the Moravec Scholarship and all these things. Are you keeping up on these things, Tate, very well, or is it just too much? I woke up. I was very confused. Everything was suddenly dark. Last thing I remember was talking to Mr. Svetz, but he's gone. I go to check what's happened, but it seems to be empty. There's no one around, not that I could see. So I go over to the door to see what's going on. But it was locked. My initial idea was to check all the doors, but that didn't really go so well. At all. I got pretty sad pretty quick since it seemed I was stuck in here. There appeared to be no way out. I didn't know what I could do. Very depressing. But suddenly, I then utilized my adept comprehension to perceive my state of nourishment. I'm hungry. As I headed to the lunchroom, I started to hear noises, and I thought I even saw people. I, I wasn't crazy. I wasn't hearing it, and when I entered the lunchroom. I found nothing. There were no people. There was no noises. I had no idea what was going on. But I did find some drinks. They were delicious, but definitely of questionable origin. They started to make me feel very sleepy. Soon, I started to fall into a state of sleepiness. I tried to stay awake, but after too long, I couldn't stop myself from falling asleep. I woke up to a new day and remembered what questionable substances I drank. I was still very tired. It wasn't the most comfortable sleeping position. I then came up with an idea for my plan for the day. If I could get items, I could... I think I could get out of here. So I started searching. I was trying to find anything that I thought could possibly work. And I meant anything. But some of it didn't.
But then I did find the jackpot. Something in here could definitely be used. Or two. I had all the items that I think could possibly use to get out of here. It wasn't the best group of things, but I think I could make use of at least one of them. I had to make a choice. The paperclip was obviously the better option. I could use it to lockpick myself out of here. So I adjusted the paper clip to the appropriate shape that I think could be used to lock pick the lock. And I started going at it. I didn't know how to lock pick, so I kept going for a very long time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how long I was lock picking this thing. Then I got very frustrated and pushed the door. Apparently, the door was a push door. But that meant I was free. I could get out of here and escape. But then I saw it. Buses. And that meant one thing. School. I walked back in to go through a Monday. 